Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create DNS server using Cisco Packet Tracer. So in this tutorial I want to create infrastructure like this. This server will be our DNS server and we want to access from our host to this server, access our web page. So let's begin first we need the one client we need one server and I will use switch because in this actually in this uh, scenario we don't need switch because we can use direct connection between client and server if you want to find out how to configure the full gateway that means router you can see this on my another video so to connect our infrastructure we use copper straight through cable I'll use existing port on our client, first port on the switch, also second port on the switch to connect with our server. So our DNS server will have 192.168.11 IP address and our client 192.168.15. So first let's set up IP addresses. Click on the server, go to the desktop, IP configuration and type 192.168.1.1 for our server. Subnet mask is default, triple time 255 then 0. The full gateway will leave this empty because we don't need gateway for this tutorial and DNS server will be our server 192.168.1.1. Now we have to set up our client. Click on the client, go to the desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.1 and 5. Send mask is default, default gateway we don't need in this case. 192.168.1.1 is our DNS server. So that means this server is our DNS server. If we close this, now I will try to ping from this client to our server ping 192.168.11 if I press enter we can see that we have reply from our server so if I want to try to access on the web page click here and type www.mypage.com if I press go we can see that DNS server doesn't work so we have to set up DNS server click on the server go on the tab services and here you can see a list of all services we need DNS actually DNS is responsible for transferring domain name into IP address for instance www.mypage.com will have IP address 192.168.11 and DNS server is responsible instead that we typing all the time 192.168.11 we can type only mypage.com so each page uh, at the web work at the same way if we type mypage.com and address then press add so now if we try to access this web page from our client we will see something like this but I want to write down here welcome to my page www.mypage.com and go to the DNS server and we have to enable our service if you press on the X click on our host and try to access our page www.mypage.com press go now you can see that we have access or instead of this we can type 192.168.1.1 so as you can see is the same result so that means DNS server is responsible to transfer to recognize that this IP address is the same like www.mypage.com so that's it if you have any question please write in the comments thank you for watching